What's good, guys? If you want cheap, fast, and reliable NBA 2K20 My Team coins, head on over to NBASafe.com and use code BUGS for 5% off at checkout. If you're looking to buy a stacked NBA 2K account with max badges and more, visit SportsTMB.com. He has been in the community for years and has hundreds of reviews. Click the first link in the description to get your account today. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Bugs back on another NBA 2K20 My Team video. And guys, today we are going to go over insane MT making methods. We're going to go over a bunch of things in this video. Before we do get into the video, make sure to smash the like button, drop the sub, and all that good stuff. Let's get 11K today, guys. We're so close. 11,000 subs, 100K MT giveaway on Twitter and Instagram. Make sure to follow them down below. Also, selling MT on PS4 and Xbox. So make sure to hit me up. We did just get Anthony Davis, man. He's freaking goaded. I'm so excited, man. I've been playing some Unlimited. Lost that 9-0. My controller was broken. My RB is broken. I'm waiting for my new remote to come in from Amazon. Hopefully soon. Waited on a huge Walmart line and literally went there and there was no remotes. I was so upset. But yeah, <clears throat> this video is going to be pretty good. You're going to make a lot of MT off these methods. You guys are going to love bugs and you're going to drop the sub. Let's get 120 likes in this video. And yeah, man, let's get into the video. Let's go. So... I was actually going over a lot of these lately because they're actually going for a lot of MT, okay? Uh, I know a lot of you day ones, a lot of you who've been around since the moments of the weeks, all these cards are so inflated and it makes no sense. People still do these sets. There's 100 token sets, this token set, 50k token set. <clears throat> I'm telling you. First off, you need to have most of these for collector levels. So that's what I'm going to say right now. Most of these moments of the week cards are going for like crazy, <clears throat> crazy amounts of MT and my throat is bugging. Um, but yeah, there's really, really, really good benefits from literally just looking in your collection for some of these old sets. If you guys don't know, man, one of the great cards, Udonis Haslam right here goes for so much MT. I don't know why I actually just sold one for 18K. He might be a very good card to snipe because I think these card, these packs are now triple threat boards. And they've been dropping a couple locker codes for these. So this is one card I'm going to say. If you can snipe him from 10k, he will actually sell for 17k. I have proof. I actually sold him in one of my videos. So you go check that out. Um, yeah, moments of the week cards. I'm actually just going to show you how many. Like some of these old amethysts, if you held on to them, are going for like 30k minimum. Which is literally, literally insane, man. So that is a lot of MT. Not gonna lie, literally a lot of MT. So now we got this Hassan Whiteside Ruby going for 5,000 MT. This Daniel House, let's see what he's going for. About 3,000 MT. Jared Allen, man, these cards are going for so expensive. You probably got them for 500 MT not too long ago. This card's about 3K MT as well. Um, moments of the week six, this guy's not that much, but I'm gonna throw him up there anyways. I'm just trying to complete, <clears throat> since I did get AD, there's no point of having any of these cards anymore. This dude is Ruby, this bum, 5,700 MT. That easily, man. Aaron Gordon, how much is he? 6,900 MT. These cards are most likely sitting in your collection because think about it, man. There's no way you could get these cards. This card is going for 4,900 MT. Let's check out this dude real quick. 4,000 MT as well. Do you see how much this adds up? Selling these bums that you have to have in your collection. Most people that played since day one... 110% have these in their collection. Diamond Joel MB going for around 10k. Like it makes no sense. 10k is could get you a pink diamond. So by selling all these old cards, definitely worth it. <clears throat> he checks actually to drop in value. I'm not sure why. They might have dropped them in triple threat. Seth Curry Ruby man, 6,400. Dylan Brooks Ruby going for 9,000 MT. Like what is going on? Marcus Morris Senior Amethyst, 5,000 something MT. This is crazy. So literally, if you guys are in your collection, I know a lot of you guys have these moments of the week cards just sitting here. I'm at this Lonzo, 19,000 MT. And I'm telling you right now, if people are trying to do the AD set, they were so desperate to get any card. They will buy these cards. I promise you. It's crazy. The demand for these aren't that high, but it's the fact that they have such a chance of selling for collector level. And since the market is crashed, a lot of people are going for collector level. Ruby Dante Exum, 3,000 MT, up to 5K after that. So, man, I'm, all I'm saying is there's a lot of hidden MT gems in your collection, especially if you have, like, Sapphire, Manu Bowl. There's a lot of Sapphires. Any Manu Bowls, man, Manu Bowl is so into the industry. The MT industry is booming in Manu Bowls. <laughs> Manu Bowl booms in the MT industry. So, 
Definitely make some MT off these moment cards before they do drop super packs. These rubies are going for 5,000 MT. It makes no sense. It just shows that they're really like, they're not valued. Like, it's hard to get hold of these cards. They're not in any packs. You can't really see them. There's not a lot of flow on the auction. Ruby Mellow's going for 4K. It's just crazy, man. I was just trying to put the heads up to you guys that you need to get on this auction block ASAP because these cards, they're expensive and it makes no sense. So yeah, not only that, there's some heat checks that are very expensive as well. So I just kind of want you guys to look at some of the heat checks like Marcus Morris, 3,400. Most heat checks go for 3K. Some go for 10K. Some go for 20K. It all depends. But a lot of these heat checks, man, 3K for heat checks. These heat checks were going for around 1,900, 1,500 not too long ago when they were in packs. So if you guys do think about the profit, if you got these heat checks done, you're kind of taking an L because they did drop. Like they did want they did go up a lot, and you can make a lot of MT. But let's go over the market a little bit before we do continue to go, man. The market is inflated big time. Okay, I'm looking at this right now. The market is so inflated. The only one who's not inflated right now is Clay Thompson. Tracy McGrady's up about 100k from yesterday. Bull Bulls up about 60k from yesterday. Jason Kidd, obviously the Opal buyouts never really rise. They kind of just stay at their value because if they're Opal buyouts, they don't really go up. Uh, Luka Doncic is around the same. Pau Gasol is around the same. Blake Griffin up a lot. He was at like 150 yesterday. Uh, Kareem was selling for like 280. He's up to 305. Uh, we got Bosch around the same. Perzingis is around the same. Actually, no, Perzingis is up a little bit. Birds are a little bit up, like 20, 30K up. Curry's around the same. Ben Simmons is up about a lot. Oh, that's cheap. I'm going to have to throw up a bid on this card, man. This Ben Simmons is actually really cheap for 400,000 MT. That's a very good price for Evo Simmons. Shaq is actually going to continue to drop, I think. He still is the best center in the game. But I think he will definitely continue to drop. So if you do want Shaq, I think you should wait on him. I think they're going to drop something to drop his price. Because then they'll probably have like a Giannis center. That's the GOAT. So uh, Hito's up a little bit. Rod Strickland, Opal. Let's check this card out. I haven't checked it. 6-3. Can he dunk? He, he could somewhat dunk. This card's pretty deadly. Um, his price should probably continue to drop. So if you did do the Evo, sell him ASAP. Devin Booker's down. Pretty much. Magic Johnson's up big time. That's one card that is up a lot. Lamar Odom and Luka Doncic. Like I said, man. I say this in every video. A lot of my videos are repeated things because I just need to get this out to the community. Uh, Lamar Odom and Luka Doncic are so good in value right now. First off, I use both of them in my lineup. I think they're insanely play. I think they're great players. And I think Lamar Odom, for the price of two something, this card is still one of the best small forwards in the game, defensively, offensively, the green release. He's just so money. And I think you guys definitely need him on your team. Also, man, if you have Eddie Curry, he's up 40K from a couple days ago. 40,000 MT, Eddie Curry, Manu Bowles. If you guys invest in him, if you are looking to invest in him, now is not the time to be investments. Now the market is high. You did, do not want to buy any cards. Eddie Curry, the man, the myth, the legend is at 84,000 MT. 40,000 MT in my video not too long ago. He's up 44K, which is double the price. Double the price for my man, Eddie Curry. He's such a hype beast card. Same thing happened with Dino. Dino was like 20K. He got hyped up by me, HTB, um, DBG. Everybody was freaking out about Dino. Dino's up big time as well, man. Dino Raja, the man. He's up to like 50k. If you have Dino Raja, I think his price is going to drop sooner or later. He's going to be a very good investment very, very soon. And also, if you guys are looking for some filters in this video, I'm going to tell you right now, the most consistent filter profit-wise is definitely the Pink Diamond. Even though Rod Strickland, I would probably recommend getting Rod Strickland for 9k and then pressing enable because he kind of does ruin the filter. So for like 9k, man, you have this filter all to yourself. There's really no other bummy cars besides like David Thompson. If you have him too, I would press enable. David Thompson and Strickland for like 10K. Buy them out. Thank me later, man. These filters are really, really, really OP, man. Pink Diamond Filter has been good for a very long time. And honestly, guys, I'll honestly buy that one. Oh, I missed it. So even Rod Strickland pops up a lot, so you can make some quick MT on that. But yeah, that's really all we got for the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Stay tuned for more content. Let's hit 11K today so we could please... Please smash the sub button. Please drop the like. We're on the road to 11K. We're so close. We're doing that 100K NT giveaway once we do hit it. So, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed. Have a good one. Stay tuned for more content tomorrow. I have work all day. So, this is Brew Record. Have a good one, guys. Peace.